Hey guys, so um, I've tried filming this video like for days now. Um, when I first got the stuff and I tried doing an unboxing haul, that did not work at all. I feel like every time I go to do one, my dog, she just knows. She knows every time I'm filming, so she gets a little rowdy. But, um, yeah, and I've been gone for a really long time, so I wanted to apologize about that. Um, I will be trying to do more videos. I have like two orders. Two orders coming in. I want to say three, but I don't know why I want to say three. Maybe I just want three orders to come in. But, um, yeah, so I placed, I placed this order and I got it, and then... There was a couple things that I was like, oh, I should have bought in that order, but I didn't buy it. So then I placed another order. And then, this is this is from the US, this order that I have. And then um, the other order that I placed is in the UK. Here, you can't go over here. You're gonna knock it over. Um, so yeah, the other orders that I placed are from the UK. But I placed one order from the UK and then I realized well, I went on the site a few days later and they put up new limited edition products in retro. And I'm sorry if she's shaking this camera. Um, they put up new limited edition retro products, so I was like, oh my god, I need to buy those. And then, no. See? Every time. She just knows. She knows. She doesn't want me to film. She just knows. But, um,. And then they changed it, like, normally when you buy soaps online, you can only buy them in a certain size. And when you go to the store, you could buy, like, the whole wheel of soap if you wanted to. Um, and that's always been a problem for me because they always come pre-cut and then, like, they, they pre-cut them, like, a while before you get them. So they have them all pre-cut and everything, but once they're pre-cut and they're set out, they start to lose the oils and the, and the things start to evaporate from them so they shrink and they get smaller so you really don't get the size that you're paying for now they put up a new thing on the U uk site i don't know about the us site i haven't checked but you can buy three different sizes of soap you can buy like the 100 gram one which is the normal one that you buy um offline you can get a 250 gram piece or 550 or 500 gram piece. So I thought that was awesome and I was like, oh, well, I need to buy some soap. So I just, I bought some things um, that I ran out of and some that I just wanted to try. So yeah, let me get into this because that's one of my reasons why my videos haven't been working is because they get too long. So I'm going to show you what I got. I got quite a few things that I, I've had before and I tried before. So um, yeah, and I've used some of this stuff because I got this like two weeks ago and I've been trying to film this, so yeah. Anywho, the first thing that I got is the Infamous Comforter Bubble Bar. I've had this before and this is, I think this is one of everybody's favorites. I mean, if you don't like the comforter, then you don't like it, but it smells like black currants and berries and sweet candy-like. Um, and you get so many uses out of this. A lot of times, I can get anywhere from six to eight uses out of this. If you have a bigger bathtub, mine's smaller, so um, if you have a bigger bathtub, you might, you know, you may not get as many uses out of it. But it's the best one for your money. I mean, in the U.S., this one is ten dollars, and I bought this one in the U.S. But in the U.K. When you do like the currency exchange, it comes out to be like the price of a US bath bomb. So that's crazy. So I'm probably gonna pick up a few of these off the UK site at some point. Um, and then I guess I'll go with bubble bars. The next bubble bar that I got was one that I actually hadn't tried before I got it. I did try it since I, since I purchased it. I used half of it. It's the Yuzu and Coco Bubble Rune. And it came as two, and it had like um, coconut cream in the middle, almost like a macaroon. I think they're supposed to look like macaroons. Um, a lot of people said this smells like orange chocolate. I just smell orange and coconut, which makes sense because of the coconut oil and everything. But yeah, this is really, really good. Um, 
I found that the consistency is different than a normal bath bomb. It's a lot creamier. And it turned my water almost into like a milk bath. But you do only get two uses out of this where with all the other bubble bars, I at least get four, three or four uses, but it is cheaper. So, the last bubble bar that I got, um, I ordered some stuff off of eBay, so I'm gonna show you that too, but it's only like three things, so. But the last bubble bar that I got from this order is the, oh my god. All right. Okay, it's the pop in the bath. This is one of my favorite um, scents from Lush. It's the olive branch scent. It's the same thing as the olive branch shower gel. And mm, it's so good. I don't even know what it's supposed to smell like, honestly. It's floral and earthy and sweet. <sighs> my husband loves this too. It can be a very um, unisex scent, so it can go both ways. Uh, I do know a lot of men. Um, like the olive branch, so that is a good one. And then for the bath bombs, I used half of this one. I'm not gonna take it out because last time I did, it crumbled everywhere. But it's the twilight, so it's got the blue and the, the pink, purple. Um, it's got lavender in it, chamomile. I think it even has oval tea. Yeah, it has oval tea in it. It's very good for relaxing. Uh, I have a lot of trouble sleeping, so I like to use these. That's why I used half of it already. But uh, it just smells so good. And then the next, the last fat bomb that I got from that order is the Blackberry. I love the Blackberry. It's probably my favorite fat bomb that they have. I think it's one, like the first one they came out with. Maybe, I'm not sure. But it just, it smells, it's fresh, it smells like berries, um, sweet and tart at the same time. It smells, I've never smelt, I've never smelt a smell like this before. I mean, I've always had like the candy smells and the berry smells and everything, but never quite like this. Mmm. But yeah. And then I bought... This I didn't try until I bought it this time. Um, it's the Happy Booming. <clears throat> the Happy Booming bath melt. There was three. I used one already. I love this. Um, at first, it's it melts like it melts so so much. But at first, when I smelled this, it, I thought it smelled like um, cherries and almonds. It is supposed to smell like cherries. It's melting really bad, so I'm putting it back in. But it is supposed to smell like cherries, and it really does. But when I first smelled it, it reminded me of a candy cane soap without the peppermint, just the cherries and the almonds. And now when I smell it, it smells like a slushy, like a cherry slushy. Like if you ever get the ones from Burger King, it smells just like that. So I'm really excited to find things to, uh, to cocktail with this because I feel like it, it, the smell changes every time I smell it, which is pretty cool. Um, and then the last thing that I bought from online is just the soap. And it's the Red Rooster soap. It has a cinnamon stick in it. And it smells like cinnamon and gingerbread and ginger snaps. I didn't, I got a sample of this and I didn't like it at first. Um, and I know a lot of people are kind of iffy on the smell because it is a strange smell in the bar But when you use it in the shower It's amazing. It smells so good. So I had to pick one of those up because I think This one might be going soon um, And then they just gave me a sample of the porridge soap Ooh. Crap oh, Sorry Um I have this soap, but I'm running out of it, so I'm really glad that they gave me a sample of it. It smells so good. It smells like what you think would, what you think porridge would smell like, and it has little oats in it for exfoliating, and I love that. So that's everything that I got online. Um, and then, like I said, I ordered some stuff off of eBay, and the 
first one, I got two things in one order, and I, I think I got it for like nine or ten dollars. Um, but I wanted to pick these up just because you can't get them until Christmas. I got the Superstars Bubble Bar, and this one smells like the other ones that I got smell really earthy and more like the tops of the strawberries rather than the um, the strawberries themselves and this one smells way more like strawberry so I'm actually very happy that I got that one um, and these are these two ones are Christmas items so you can only get them at Christmas um, yeah and then the next one I'm not taking him out because He's very, very dusty and crumbly, but I got a Satsumo Santa with that. He also smells like strawberries, but more of like um, a really fruity strawberry as of where this one smells more earthy. But they go perfect together, so yeah. And if I shake him, powder comes out, so I need to put him in a bag. And then the last thing that I got um, from eBay was in another order, and I got this one for my husband. It's called the Wuss, and it's it's manly. It's for I think it's made for men. Um, it's very masculine. I mean, I'm sure there's some women out there who like the scent too, because I do sometimes like more masculine scents. But this one, it's like it like punches you in the face. But um, I think it's funny because it's called the Wuss. I'm like inhaling it as I need to like smell it from this distance. But um, I think the name is funny because it's for men and it's called the wuss and you know how men are always like big macho guys. They try to be anyways. Um, and my husband really likes this and he's been excited to use it but he's been working so late so he hasn't gotten a chance to take a nice bath. But um, it smells, it has like, I think it has coffee in it. Um, I definitely smell some patchouli in there, and then it, they said, it says something about pipe tobacco, which I don't smell. Um, maybe a little bit? I don't know. I'm, I'm not a big fan of pipe tobacco. I don't, I know some people think it smells, some people think it smells nice. I don't know, but anyway. So the person that I ordered that from actually sent me some samples, um, which was really nice and generous of them. They sent me the honey waffle soap, which every time I smell this, it smells different. When I first opened it, it was hard and I, I did not even want it. I wanted to throw it away. but. Now when I smell it, it smells like something like, it still smells bad to me, but it's got like a familiar scent to it, like something that I smelled in like summer camp when I was younger. So I kind of like that part just because I liked summer camp when I was younger, but um, it kind of smells like something that would keep mosquitoes away. So I kind of want to see this and try it like um, you know, a night when we're gonna be outside late or something, because it is summertime now, so, I don't know, I'm kind of excited to use this, even though I don't like the smell, but I just want to see if it repels bugs. It's not meant to, um, but it just kind of has a smell to it, so, we'll see, who knows, I could get attacked by mosquitoes from it. Um, and then the next soap is the, well, you can't read it, so I'll just use it out. It's the Waylander Rezul soap. And I've had a sample of this before. And when you first get it, it smells like mud. When I first tried it, when I first got it as a sample, I didn't use it for like two months because I just kept pushing it to the side and I was like, I do not want to smell like mud. But it does have Rezul mud in it and that's why it does smell like that. Um, it's very good for your skin. This is, this soap is so soft. like. It's, it almost feels like clay. And it kind of turns into like a mask. Not a, it kind of turns into mud when you use it in the shower. But when you rinse it off, it has the most beautiful scent that it leaves behind, which um, I was not expecting. And it stays on you. Like, even if I don't rinse my fingers, it'll kind of, the mud scent will kind of fade away. And then 
it just brings out a nice beautiful scent so I really need to um, buy some of this a full size thing of this so that's everything that I got and like I said I have two or three more hauls coming in so look forward to those uh, they will be lush hauls which I'm gonna try and fade away from doing all the lush hauls but um yeah, I hope, I know a lot of you guys like them, and I know some people have said that they, they want me to do more Lush Hauls, so I will keep doing them, and if anyone gets tired of them, let me know. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you for watching.